Hey guys, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. I'm Sydney and this is Matt, and today we're bringing you our top picks for the best treadmills on the market. We've worked hard to bring you a wide range of treadmills to choose from, so you can find one to fit your needs. We're gonna give you insight into each individual treadmill on this list and help you make an informed buying decision. So let's jump in and check out the best treadmills for home use. All right guys, we've been testing a lot of treadmills. We've been working hard to bring you a ton of different options. We've also been working hard to make sure that the treadmills that we're recommending are up to date as far as what the manufacturer is offering on their website. At least the time of filming this video, models change a lot, so just be mindful of that. Also, with this video, we're gonna be talking about a lot of different models, and we only have so much time to do that. So. We are only gonna be able to kind of scratch the surface for each of these models, so make sure that you head to our YouTube channel. We have individual video reviews that go into detail. We also have individual written reviews at treadmillreviewguru.com, and there you can also find our best treadmills page to be able to see even more details that we're not able to discuss here. So be sure to check that out. Also, we've put together kind of a little guide to give you an idea of how to determine which treadmill is right for you because that is the most important. These are the best treadmills, but really it depends on which one is right for you. So starting off, the training capabilities of the treadmill is really important. You wanna make sure that you find one that aligns with your goals. So if you want a walking treadmill, you have one that can work for that, or if you want one for running, one that's capable of handling that. We're gonna go into motor sizes and talk about which ones are able to handle what type of training, also, you wanna consider your space. So a treadmill is a large piece of equipment. Some of these are pretty heavy. We have folding options. We also have some non-folding options. So you wanna consider how the treadmill is going to be able to fit in your home so you're able to use it. You're also going to wanna to consider the deck size along with your running stride. A lot of people think that running on a certain size treadmill won't work for them because it's just smaller, but really it comes down to your running stride. For example, I'm six foot five and Sydney's five foot one. We're gonna show you both of us running on a lot of these treadmills and we both have a little bit different stride length so she can actually run on some of the treadmills that I can't just because my stride's a little bit longer. You also wanna consider the weight capacity of each machine. If you're a bigger person, there are certain treadmills that you'll fit on and be more comfortable on. You also wanna consider the cushioning of each machine. If you have joint issues and need a little bit softer feel, or if you like a little bit firmer feel, we'll go into that and break that down for you as well. You're also going to want to consider the tech and the content that's built into the machine. If you want a subscription, if you don't want a subscription, there's options for both. So we'll go into all of that to help you decide which machine is best for you. You'll also want to consider your budget. There's a huge price range of treadmills on this list. Some are a little more bang for your buck, some are a little more premium option. We'll go into all of that for you. We also have affiliate links down in the description so you can check current pricing. Prices change a lot, so if we're wrong, just please check the affiliate link to see what the current pricing is. And if you decide to purchase a treadmill, please consider using that link and that helps support our channel so we can continue to bring you content like this. So enough with all the talk, let's get into the best treadmills. All right, so we're gonna start this list with the Nordic Track 1750. This is a mid-range model from Nordic Track. It's in their commercial series lineup of home treadmills. It's also what we consider to be the best treadmill for home use because it has a lot of thoughtful features. One thing to keep in mind is that the 1750 is currently on closeout. This is the 2022 model. We expect that there's going to be a 2023 model coming out. So just know that the features that I'm going to go through are on the 2022 model that's currently available on Nordic Trek's website. So starting with those features that we really like for home use, the deck folds up and locks into place. It uses a hydraulic assist. So you get assistance when you lift up the deck and then also when you unlock it, it will slowly lower to the floor for you. This really just saves up a lot of space. So if you need a treadmill that is a little bit more storable and can minimize that footprint when you're not using it, it's a really great option. Also, it can be moved around pretty easily. It does have transportation wheels. You just need to tilt it back to be able to engage those wheels to move it around. 
What really makes the 1750 ideal for most home users is the 3.5 continuous horsepower motor. It's quiet, it's responsive, it goes up to 12 miles per hour, and then that deck will incline up to 15% and decline to negative 3%, so you have a lot of different training options. That decline might not seem like much, but really offers a lot of versatility with your training. Plus, the deck size is pretty roomy. It's 22 inches wide and 60 inches long. With this deck length, we've found in our testing that it's appropriate for most users' stride length, so we anticipate users will be able to run and sprint on this machine. Also, with that 3.5 continuous horsepower motor, you should be able to get a lot of use out of it. So you can think marathon training, and if you have multiple users in your household, 1750 is a great option. Also, it handles users up to 300 pounds, pretty standard weight capacity on Nordic Track treadmills. The cushioning in the deck is really one of my favorite aspects. Nordic Track has some of the softest cushioning that we've tested in treadmills. The 1750 just feels really comfortable to use and it helps lessen the impact that comes with running when you're using it. Also, it has a 14 inch touchscreen that's enabled with iFit to give you really thousands of trainer led content and workouts to take. That screen is super adjustable, so you can turn it to the side to be able to take iFit's mat classes, or if you're doing like a treadmill bootcamp class and hopping back and forth between using weights on the floor. We love how adjustable that screen is. So really with all of these options, the 1750 is really great for the masses. Next on our list is the Soul F80. Soul is known for building high quality, no frills fitness equipment. So you can just get on and go. For that reason, we've given the Soul F80 the award of the best treadmill without a subscription. You will notice that these Soul treadmills have been updated with a new design for 2023, but we are stoked to see that the Soul stayed true to their colors with the durable construction, despite a more minimal design. The F80 folds up and can be moved easily with the four wheels that are connected to the frame. It has a 3.5 horsepower motor, 12 mile per hour max speed, and 15 levels of incline. The F80 can handle heavy use such as training for a race or households with multiple users. The deck is 22 inches wide by 60 inches long, which is plenty of room for runners with most stride lengths and also has a weight capacity of 350 pounds. So the F80 is a heavy duty treadmill and can handle a lot of heavy use. The cushioning is firm underfoot and has a more road-like feel, but does provide some shock absorption. The new F80 has an impressive 10 inch touchscreen that comes with 12 preloaded apps such as YouTube, Netflix, HBO, Spotify, and more. You will need to have your own subscription for each of the respective apps, but Sold does not require any type of monthly subscription. The touchscreen is very responsive and easy to use. There are plenty of storage options, a tablet holder, as well as a built-in wireless phone charger, which is a pretty cool addition that we haven't seen on any other treadmills before. If you want a treadmill that's a little bit beefier and larger, with a larger screen, you can check out the Soul F85. It has a 15-inch touchscreen, as well as a 375-pound weight capacity, so it's great for users of most sizes. It also inclines and declines, so it has a little bit more training variability than the F80. All right, so if you're looking for a walking treadmill that is budget friendly, this next one's for you. This is the Horizon T101. This is Horizon's entry level model, and we're continually impressed with its upgrades and how it is of high quality, yet at a nice price point at well under $1,000. It folds up, so it's really storable. It's also pretty compact, so if you have a little bit less space than what some of these larger treadmills on this list offer, this one's a really good pick. And it can be moved around fairly easily because it's lightweight. You do just have to tilt it back to engage those wheels to move it around. Also, it has nice training capabilities. It has a 2.5 horsepower motor, so it is quiet and it can handle primarily walking. However, if you have a shorter running stride like me, you should be able to jog and even run at its higher speeds. It goes up to 10 miles per hour and the deck inclines up to 10%, so it gives you a lot of training options. It has a 20 inch wide by 55 inch long deck. So really for most users for walking, that deck length is going to handle that use and be able to give you plenty of room. However, if you have a shorter running stride like me, like I said, you should be able to jog and run as well. And the cushioning is also a little bit more 
high end than what we see from entry level models like this one. It is soft and comfortable to use, just a little bit more cushion. So if you have joint issues for walking and running, we definitely recommend this option. And it handles users up to 300 pounds plus Horizon backs it with a lifetime warranty for the frame and motor. So this really just helps instill confidence in the construction. And when we're using it, it just feels comparable to treadmills that are priced hundreds of dollars more. The tech in the console is a little bit less than what we see. However, it does come with onboard workouts and you do have the option to be able to place your phone or tablet on the device to stream whatever you want using that device rack. Or with how compact this treadmill is, you can also just place it in front of your TV to help prevent any boredom while you're walking. All right, next up on our list of best treadmills is the Proform Pro 9000. This has an impressive 22 inch touchscreen on the console and for that reason, we've given this the award of the best compact treadmill with an attached touchscreen. This treadmill folds up really nicely and you can tilt it back to move it in and out of storage space when you need more space for exercising. It also has a 3.6 horsepower motor, goes up to 12 miles per hour, goes up to 12% incline, and also has negative 3% decline. So you have a lot of different training variables on this treadmill. It's great for home use with homes with multiple users. It also is rated for heavy use as well as heavy running. The deck is 20 inches wide by 60 inches long, so it's great for people with those longer running strides. It only has a 300 pound weight capacity, which is probably gonna be great for most people, but compared to other treadmills on this list, it is lacking a little bit there. The cushioning on this treadmill is great. It's a little bit firmer than Nordic Track treadmills, but it's a little bit softer than Sol and Horizon treadmills. So it's great for people with joint discomfort. Lastly, the console on this treadmill is great because of that 22 inch touchscreen that you can access iFit content. The console is very intuitive and easy to use. The Proform Pro 9000 is just a great treadmill. If you want a little bit more budget friendly treadmill, you can check out the Pro from Pro 2000. It has a little bit smaller of a screen and a little bit smaller of a motor for a little more affordable of a price, but you get all of the same functionality. So for that, we recommend checking out the Pro from Pro 2000. All right, guys, I'm super excited to bring you this next treadmill. This is our best treadmill overall, and that is the Nordic Track X32i Incline Trainer. It's been at the top of our list for the past couple of years, and it's rightfully earned the spot. One thing to keep in mind, it doesn't fold up, so it's gonna stay like this. It's a large, heavy treadmill, but if you have the space for it, it's definitely worth it. One thing that makes the X32i stand out is that that deck will incline up to 40%. It's really the highest that we've seen on home treadmills, it's intense. I can only handle walking about two miles per hour. And when I'm up to that full 40% incline, it is tough. It gets the legs burning and it's really just awesome. The deck also declines to negative 6%. So huge amount of training options there. It goes up to 12 miles per hour. Really my pick with actually both of these treadmills, I'm gonna get into this one in a moment, but for running, it's super comfortable. The cushioning is some of the softest that we've felt and really the highest amount of cushioning from Nordic Track. It is super comfortable to run on. I know when I'm choosing a treadmill to use, this one is really my top pick just with how comfortable it is. And really with that incline, it's unreal and it has a 22 inch wide and 65 inch long deck so you have plenty of room you can also sled push and really the training options are practically unlimited on the x32i it also has a 300 pound weight capacity so it can handle users up to that size pretty standard and it has a 4.25 continuous horsepower motor so the motor is super powerful plus it's quiet so really Anything that you wanna do, you can pretty much do it on the X32i. It also has a 32 inch touchscreen, which is some of the largest touchscreens that we've seen on treadmills. It's massive. It makes using iFit, which is enabled on the touchscreen since it's from Nordic Track. It makes it super interactive to use. Really what sets iFit apart from the rest, at least in my opinion, is their outdoor classes. They're filmed on every continent and they have thousands of outdoor classes, especially they also have indoor classes too, which are fun, but their outdoor classes, I mean, you could take a class and climb up a mountain in Switzerland or run on a beach in Hawaii. And really the training options are practically endless. 
And on that 32 inch touchscreen, it just makes it super interactive. And plus add that incline in and I promise you will not regret it. Or maybe, maybe you'll regret it the next day if you're super sore. Also, we recommend the X22i. It's a little bit more affordable to the X32i, so it's a really great option. It has a 22 inch touchscreen. I think that's kind of the sweet spot that I prefer for screen sizes, but you get all the training options that you do on the X32i. It inclines up to that 40% declines to negative 6%, has a powerful motor, has a 60 inch long deck that is optimal for running and being able to use it at that full incline. So really either of these options are really awesome to take your training up a notch. If you're looking for a treadmill with high incline, but you need a folding option, then we recommend checking out the Bowflex Treadmill 22. This has an impressive 20% incline and it also folds up pretty compact. So that's why we've given this the award for best folding treadmill with a high incline. It also has two wheels so you can tilt it back and move it pretty easily. It's actually really heavy so we recommend a dedicated space in your home. But if you need to move it around just know that you do have the option. Along with the 20% incline this also has a negative 5% decline as well as a 4 horsepower motor so the training capabilities on this machine are awesome. It's great for households with multiple users or people that want to do heavy running or even train for a race. The deck is 22 inches wide and 60 inches long and it has a 400 pound weight capacity so it's great for most size users and people who want to do a lot of heavy training on this machine. The cushioning is a little bit firmer. I would say it feels more like a treadmill that you're going to run on at the gym. It has a little bit more of a commercial higher end feel and it's really overbuilt like it's really impressive. It's built like a tank. The cushioning is just a little bit firmer so you're going to notice that when you're running on it. It also has this impressive 22 inch touchscreen up top that features Journey content. If you don't want to use Journey but you have the membership you also have the options of using Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, HBO. That's one thing we love about the Bowflex Treadmill 22 is that it has those built-in content options where other brands lock you into their subscription model. So for those reasons, we love the Bowflex 22 and we definitely recommend checking it out. All right, so next we have two more options that we really love from Horizon. This is the Horizon 7.0 AT and then this is the Horizon 7.8 AT. Starting with the 7.0, we've awarded this as the best treadmill under $1,000. It's a great value pick, especially if you're looking for a budget treadmill that you can run on. It has a 20 inch wide by 60 inch long running surface. so. Most users, most stride lengths will be able to run. It has a three horsepower motor, so it's capable of handling light to moderate use. Don't necessarily recommend logging, you know, a lot of miles or marathon training on this model, but considering it's priced just under $1,000, it's just a really great value pick. It handles users up to 325 pounds, and there's onboard workouts included on the console that come included, don't have to worry about a subscription. With the 7.8, it's really the beefed up model. So with the Studio Series, this is the, the low end and this is the high end model, so you get both, both to choose from. With the 7.8, this is going to be the one that if you want to train for a marathon, train for race, log a lot of miles, this is really the pick. It has a four horsepower motor that's super powerful. It's also quick to adjust, so we've awarded this as the best treadmill for HIIT training. It has the Sprint 8 program that's included on the console in addition to onboard workouts. It comes included, you don't have to worry about paying for a subscription. And Sprint 8 is really best for that high intensity interval training. This one has a 22 inch wide by 60 inch long running surface, so just a little bit more room, plus it has a 375 pound weight capacity. Really, both of these options are great, just depending on your budget and what you want to use the treadmill for. You really can't go wrong with either of these models. All right, next up on our list is a Soul F63 treadmill. This is a great budget-friendly treadmill. We've given it the award for the best treadmill under $1,500. But what we love about the F63 is it doesn't sacrifice any of the quality and durability of sole treadmills. This is one of the best bang for your buck treadmills that money can buy. Like the other sole treadmills, you have the folding design with the hydraulic assist and the four wheels built into the frame so it's extremely easy to move. The F63 has a three horsepower motor so it's great for walking, jogging, running. If you have a household with multiple users, we would recommend a treadmill with a little bit higher of a motor, but overall this should be great for running and jogging. 
The deck size is 20 inches wide by 60 inches long, so it's a little bit more compact than the F80 and the F85, but it's overall still a great machine. It's got rather firm cushioning, like I mentioned before. It's a little bit softer than running outside on the concrete, but it's gonna provide just enough cushioning for people who don't wanna go overboard with the amount of cushioning that they have in a treadmill. The console is super simple, easy to use. It's really just a get on and go treadmill. It's got the device rack up top so you can watch your own training content. Overall, we love sold treadmills. Again, I know I'm reiterating this. I probably sound like a broken record, but sold treadmills are just really high quality and durable machines, and that's why we love to recommend them. All right, so rounding out this list, we have the Nordic Track 2450. We've awarded the Nordic Track 2450 as the best treadmill for running because it just has a lot of features that we like for running. So it folds up and it can be moved around fairly easily. You do have to tilt it back like a 1750 that I mentioned earlier, but it's actually, it's pretty compact and we like that that deck folds up. Also, it has a 3.6 continuous horsepower motor, so it is powerful to handle, you know, marathon training. If you want to train for really any type of race, this one's a really good option. It can handle a lot of use. And also, if you have multiple users in your household that want to run on a treadmill, 2450 is a great option. Also, with the deck size, it's 60 inches long, so it's optimal really for most strides and it is 20 inches wide. So you might notice from the 2022 model that was 22 inches wide, the new 2023 model is just 20 inches wide. However, we think that you're really not going to notice much of a difference. And actually we found using the new 2023 model that it's actually provided a little bit more stability, especially to the console and that giant touch screen that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. So we like how sturdy the new model is. It can handle users up to 300 pounds and the cushioning has the soft cushioning that we know and love from Nordic Track. It also can go up to 12 miles per hour and the deck inclines up to 12% and declines to negative 3%. So you get plenty of options and plenty of options for training when you're running. And it has that large 22 inch touchscreen. I really think that this is my kind of favorite size when it comes to touchscreens. And as I said, this one actually doesn't have too much wobble considering how large it is. Plus it's enabled with iFit. As I mentioned, comes free for the first month when you purchase the 2450. So you have a lot of different training options. Plus that screen swivels from side to side so you can get even more use out of iFit that way. So a popular brand that you might've noticed that's missing from our best treadmills list is Peloton. The Peloton Tread is a fine treadmill, but for the amount that you're paying, considering the construction, the cushioning, and the training capabilities that you get just really isn't worth it in our opinion. And this treadmill overall, it looks nice, but it just, as far as performance, it's mediocre. The other treadmills that we talked about are definitely better options as far as comfort, training content, motor capabilities, and also with their value that you get with them. There's no doubt that Peloton's content is really one of the best. It's fun, it's engaging, they really nail it when it comes to trainer-led studio classes. I love how they incorporate music, their instructors are really fun and engaging, but when it comes to the whole entire package that you're getting, mainly the treadmill, which is gonna be a large part of that experience, the Peloton tread isn't worth it and we highly recommend checking out the other options that we mentioned in this list. All right, so another type of treadmill that we love to test and review are manual treadmills. So all the other treadmills that we've mentioned prior to this are motorized treadmills. So they have a motor that controls the pace of the belt and they require electricity to use. This is a manual treadmill, so it doesn't have a motor and your feet control the pace of the belt. So there really isn't a max speed. You can run on it as fast as you want and as you can. With manual treadmills, if you're in the market, make sure you head to treadmillreviewguru.com. We have a full best manuals page there with our top recommendations. We also have a best manuals video coming, so make sure you're subscribed because you won't want to miss it. But just to give you an idea of some of our top models, we really like the uh, Salt Runner Pro and Elite, and also the True Form Trainer that you see right here. Thanks for watching our best treadmills video. 
Another type of treadmill that we regularly test and review are under desk treadmills, but we weren't able to really talk about them much in this video, but make sure you head to our YouTube channel. We have a best under desk treadmill video there. We also have a full written write up of the best under desk treadmills at treadmillreviewgear.com. And that's where I mentioned before that you can also see the write up of all of the treadmills that we talked about today, plus their individual reviews and all of those models we have videos of. So make sure you subscribe, check those out. Also let us know in the comments, what is the best treadmill for you? Which one do you like the best? And let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Sydney and this is Matt. We're Treadmill Review Guru. I'll see you next time.